I'm going to cancel that because I actually want to. No, no, that's fine. I don't know where it's recording. That's the problem. Because <laughs> I, oh. I have this new computer. I don't know which hard drive it's recording to or whatever. Or whatever. That's fine. I'll uh -oh. find it. It's done. It's in the Zoom file. That's the default is a Zoom file that it usually makes in like my documents or something like that. Yeah. I'm trying to keep my, um, you know, my games on one hard drive, my documents on another hard drive, and all the just like the apps on one hard drive, you know? Yep. I've gone full cloud with my documents at least. I just have too much stuff. Now that now that I have new versions of my paper like every three minutes because of being a grad student, now I'm fully in the cloud. And like eight million pounds of literature. Yeah. No what, computer can handle it. What did you end up using? Google or Microsoft or what? Um Microsoft because we got Eric got like a 360, Office 360 thing for work. And it allowed us to have two logins and a bunch of different computers and we each got a terabyte. So we ended up using that one drive. Which, which number are we doing? Uh, 18. We are going to go into the sewers because that's a D and D tradition going to the sewers. And here comes the cat to knock over everything. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. That's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of water and a lot of bad guys, but it's not actually a lot. Okay. The cat is now in the lid of the Gloomhaven box and he's eating lettuce because we have a tiny garden. Yeah, he's, we have like a hydroponics garden right here. <laughs> and so he's munching on the lettuce while sitting in the Gloomhaven box. Okay. <laughs> in case anyone was wondering whether I'm middle-aged, yes, I'm middle-aged. No, stop eating the lettuce, you fool. Oh, now he's offended. Are you going to come sit with me, or are you just going to knock things over? We're going to have, like, a rampaging cat in the middle of our um, session today. Okay. He's very pretty, but he's only got one eye. I would rather have a cat with one eye. Your cat's name. Hmm? What's your cat's name? Obi. Obi? Obi. Like Obi Wan Kenobi. Yeah. Because he's um <laughs> he's at least partially Siamese, if not one hundred percent Siamese. And so he um he looks like a Jedi. He's got a little tan jacket on. So his name is Obi. But he got into a fight, and so now he only has one eye. And he lives in the house now instead of outside, which is where he used to live. You mean recently? Uh, last October, he showed up with the zombie eyeball. It was really gross. Even the vet thought it was gross. That's how gross it was. That was so graceful, Ben. <laughs> he watched and he missed. Okay. <laughs> 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 Anyway, um, yeah, he he showed up randomly last fall with like one eye that looked like it should be in a zombie movie. Uh huh. So we took him to the vet, and the vet was like, "Ew, that is actually really bad." And you know when the vet says that, that is actually really bad. So they took his eyeball, wow. and now he's inside because we felt like it was not very nice to put. He was like our bonus outdoor cat that just showed up one day, kind of thing. We decided it was not nice to expect him to fend for himself outside with only one eyeball. So now he lives inside. Yeah. Has he taken to the indoors okay? Yes. He he was, I think he was dumped. I don't think he was actually feral um, because he was really quick to become um, like tame and loving. Mm -hmm. You can see him in the background sometimes. He'll be like right here. If anybody is playing the spot the cat while we're, <laughs> while we're playing, he'll be right here in the window um but he's the the main issue we have is that he's 
mostly tame, but he was used to being outside some, so he'll get mad at us for no good reason. He's like, stop touching me. And then, I mean, it's just cat stuff, right? And then he'll just like lose his mind at us and go sit in the window for a while and calm down. But that's like normal cat things, so we're not that bothered by it. And he does not like the puppy. But nobody really does right now because the puppy is a jerk. Being nine months old and all. Nine month old puppies are jerks. I can sort of get the board in the camera frame. I've got the beginning of the board, but not all of the board. I figured I would turn it. Now it's like foggy. Foggy? Yeah. But yeah. See if I can mess with the focus. How would I do that? Okay. I need it to like auto focus. Yeah, don't they normally have like, oh, there you go. It did it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Way better. <laughs> okay, we've got slimes, mm -hmm. giant viper ooze, vermling scout. Mm -hmm. Slimes and snakes and Cat looking things, puppy dog tails. Mm. Oh, yours is all nicely sorted and everything like that. Mine's just a hot mess. I downloaded the, there was uh, something on Board Game Geek. Oh, to help you manage your stuff. Yeah. See, I got the smaller, I have the smaller boxes. I don't have the big boxes. Oops. But mine has this like one big area for like the dragon and things. So, yeah, my dragon doesn't fit. But I do end up with like three different kinds of thing in each of the little squares. So sometimes it's hard to find them. <laughs> Vermlings. They look like cats. They're like little angry cats with tattoos. Little Ewok you guys? Kind of, but like evil Ewoks. <laughs> They have like red tattoos on their heads. Or I guess it could just be face paint, but or fur paint since they're furry. I saw a video recently about Return of the Jedi. Mm -hmm. And um and how the Ewoks now believe in this C three PO god. Mm -hmm. And like they don't address that at all <laughs> later. <laughs> so well, like you mean like later in that movie or in the Ewok movies either I think yeah yeah I think kind of it's just like for to give them a way out of the situation with the Ewoks I think and then but now, now is C-3PO a god for them in their pantheon maybe did they have a pantheon before though like or is is they just they just started religion. C-3PO brought religion to the Ewoks. Yeah. And, and <laughs> that, that is super like unethical. Oh, I remember it was a uh, a comparison of Star Trek's prime directive to like Star Wars. <laughs> I was going to say, it's definitely against the prime directive to make yourself a god of a un, un, uh, uncontacted tribe of yeah. small bears. <laughs> Have you seen um, that you can tell whether somebody, you can tell what generation somebody comes from based on how they feel about Ewoks? It, it really only has to do with like generation X versus the like the Xennials, which are, you know, 
people my age who are not quite young enough. They keep trying to call us millennials, but we have almost nothing in common with millennials. Yeah. Those of, but we also don't have a lot in common with Gen X. We're like this weird little pocket of. Yeah. Well, anyway, um, if you think we're, both, we're disaffected and disenfranchised. <laughs> even Generation X doesn't want us. <laughs> um, so the millennials keep trying to trying to tack us on, but we're like, we, you guys are babies. Like we just don't have anything in common with them. But so if you think that Ewoks are cute and snuggly, you're my age. And if you don't, if you're annoyed by them, you're Generation X or above, I guess. But I feel like most of the boomers are like, they, they can't be bothered to think about Ewoks. I don't know. Although I'm pretty sure that there are people who would call me boomer at this point. I haven't yeah. been okay boomered yet. It's turned into a, you know, anyone who's like older than 30, it seems like, instead of like <laughs> actual <the> boomer generation. <laughs> I think about what Gen Z thinks about millennials <laughs> and it was like everything that every teenager has thought about older people ever and they're like oh millennials like gardening <laughs> I, was like, <laughs> I was like I don't think I can be a millennial anymore because I'm not like offended by it I'm just laughing at them because they're babies <laughs> I'm like mm -hmm. oh you're so cute littles uh oh he's coming back again he's gonna fail miserably let's move some stuff so he has a landing pad Coming back. I'll just move my drinks over here. Yeah, that was way better, buddy. The drinks are moving over here. Honestly, I'm pretty excited to be middle-aged now. It's, I don't have that like proving myself thing going on anymore, etc. I mean, there is some of that career-wise, but not as much because I'm like, I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> Which will surprise anybody watching this. <laughs> okay, I just grabbed everything that looked kind of remotely like it. It has like lily pads, the water, but I definitely had it upside down. I thought this was water briefly. I don't know if you can see, it's definitely not water. It's like cracked dirt or something, but. That's close enough. Yeah. Yeah, because it's difficult to rain. It's not like, there he is. There's the cat in case anybody was, oh, well, there's half his head. Um, it's just difficult to rain. So you can, you can walk around in it if you really want to, but it will use up all your movement points. Oh, also, we've discovered Hamilton since the last time we got to do this, mm. as it came out on Disney Plus, and now we, we, we missed it in live, even though we lived, you know, not that far from New York City. Uh huh. Uh, but it was impossible to get tickets and a babysitter at the same time, so now it's just on all the time. Even May, even my daughter, she loves it. She's seven. We so tried I to distract her from the not so exciting for a seven-year-old parts. <laughs> it's, so it's as good as everyone says it is? Oh, I thought I, I was, um, I was skeptical. Let's put it that way. But like everybody I knew loved it. And so I was like, all right, let's watch this. And then to tell you how good it is, my husband hates musicals, hates them. I, Try really hard not to force musicals on him, even though I was totally a bit of a theater nerd when I was a kid and can sing along to just about every Disney movie since the 60s. Anyway, um, he watched it with me and even he puts it on now, like wants to watch it, actively puts it on. So it's good. It definitely has some of the issues that have been brought up with like, not really talking about the slavery and stuff huh slavery and stuff yeah the slavery and stuff it talks about it a little bit but kind of uh makes the characters seem better than they are about it but um what i think is interesting about that is that if it were made now of course there would have to be more discussion of it but it was made five years ago when like it was just exciting to have 
an entire production with with people of color. So, which is horrible that that was like so exciting in 2015, but at the same time, yeah, it was really progressive at the time, which is only five years ago. So, I I find the people who are angry about it like a little. I don't know, like they didn't understand how bad it was or has been all this time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, it's probably, I mean, something that I think I've come to realize is a lot of people who are younger have absolutely no sense of history, you yeah. know, and like that a lot of the things that are going on right now have been going on for decades. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and like when, when John Lewis died uh, and people were writing obituaries and stuff like that, it made it really clear, I think. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know if anyone younger than 30 read any of them or anything like that, but, um, you know, it seemed pretty amazing that this guy, um, you know, had been fighting basically his whole life uh, since, this, since the early 60s, right? And, yeah. um, and like, we've gotten far, but we've gotten like hardly far at all, you know? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's something that struck me, and I don't mean to just bash on the youngers, but um, it struck me right after um, gay marriage was legalized. Um, we were all excited about it at my work because it was like a long time coming and we had all been for it for years and we were really excited. And one of our youngins who was maybe 20 at the time was like, okay, be excited about this. But you know, there's just all this other stuff, bad stuff that's going on too. So, you know, but be excited about this. And he was being super snarky about it. And I was like, dude, <laughs> and I had to stop myself from like actively engaging with him because I wanted to be like, dude, do you not understand how long we've been fighting for something like this? Like, but he did it. He didn't get it to him. It was like, to him, it was archaic. He was like, I, you know, we don't want to get married. And I was like, okay, you don't want to get married, but there's people that did want to get married. So stop crapping on them. So, and I'm not saying that if we get hate mail, it's not, you know, nobody watches us, but in case anybody gets really mad, they're going to okay boomer me about that. But at the same time, progress is exciting. And if you don't have any progress, then you stop fighting and you end up in an autocracy. So I'm for progress, even if it's not the progress you wanted. Yeah. I did forget one guy. I just watched you put one more guy and I was like, uh oh, I forgot that guy. And there's also an elite slime. Yeah, I got the elite slime. He's right here. Just think an elite slime. Okay, I think I got everything. Where the hell are our characters? <laughs> I found mine. <laughs> yeah, I actually don't know where they are. Okay, that took forever, but I'm ready now. <laughs> this is what happens when we stop playing on a regular basis. Yeah. It's much longer to get going. Gives it's been a, a long time. <laughs> Do we remember how to play? Probably. I think so. Don't get exhausted early. That's right. <laughs> That's important. It's very important. Um, 
Okay, for people who are joining us. <laughs> <laughs> who just listened to half an hour of rambling and setting up. <laughs> right. <laughs> Maybe I need a title. I need to do some titling on this video just so that people know what the hell the video is about at the beginning. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> Melissa and I, that's Melissa, she's in Hawaii. I'm here in Seattle. Uh, mm -hmm. My name is Mark. Um, we are playing this game called Gloomhaven. And we've been playing it since December? No, like October or something like that, right? No, I think I think we started it in the new year because it was we started when you started getting locked down, I think. No, oh, maybe or no, no, we started before that. We started before Corona? Yeah. I don't remember. We started okay. a while that, ago. That's how long it's been. <laughs> <laughs> it's been. It's now in the you know, in ancient history that we don't even remember the start date. We can just look up the video. You can do that on YouTube. Like, I'll point to whatever direction the button's supposed to be. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll just put it to the first one. There, yeah. now we have all the pots. <laughs> everywhere. I'm going to throw, I'm going to throw like five different buttons everywhere. <laughs> um, yeah, and we thought it would be interesting to record it all as we're playing, so that's what we're doing. Um, and you can watch our previous videos on how all that thing is set up if you want. Although, I guess that's, I don't know, I should probably just write it up in a blog post or something like that, because asking people to watch videos for hours and hours and hours is, might be a little much. <laughs> the maths, the maths did it. <laughs> right, that's true. <laughs> we um, have fans, they're called the maths. Hi, the maths. <laughs> They're, called uh, the Mets because they're all named Matt, not because we named them the Mets. <laughs> right. Um, Melissa and I are both in a group called Nasaga, North American Simulation and Gaming Association. Um, Mel Melissa is an ex board member, I'm a current board member. Um, and we, uh, I think, one idea was to start uh, doing this video podcast or whatever you want to call it um as a video series i could live on the nasaga website um just for kicks <laughs> um i don't know if that's happening anymore but now there's a youtube channel for sure um on my youtube channel i mean but there's a there's a playlist you can watch on youtube and um okay so the story is we are we are these two <laughs> <laughs> characters and we've been um uh tasked i guess by the city called gloomhaven to figure out what's going on in the surrounding area with this thing called the gloom um which seems to be related to cultists and undead somehow um uh we have met i think three main npcs um one of them is the guard, the city guard captain or whatever, who's mm -hmm. sort of been working with us and giving us quests every once in a while. Another one is named Jexera, who was our initial like person giving us quests, but it turns out that she is actually a bad guy and the city guard let us know about that. And so we, maybe we're the bad guys because we basically betrayed her. <laughs> Yeah, but she was making us do bad things like commit genocide. So we got mad that she made us commit genocide. She made us go Anakin on a village of village people. I don't, I don't remember. I forgot what their names are. <laughs> I think they were Inox or Enox, something like yeah, that. Yeah, right. Um, and we didn't like that. So then when the when the city guard was like, you know, she's actually been working behind the scenes to try to undermine Gloomhaven. Why don't you work for me instead? We're like, yes, let's totally do that. And so then we went off and we followed a bunch of different missions and we uh, killed her like recently. Mm -hmm. um, and then the summer happened and our lives got crazy. And so we haven't actually played this game in like, I don't know, six weeks or something like that. Longer than that. I think it's been a full two and a half months. I think it was like May the last time we played. Mm -hmm or something holy crap well anyway it's been a long time um 
we are delving into the sewers. I don't remember why, but that's where we are. Yeah. So, so after Jexera, we talked to the city guard captain again, and the city guard captain was like, so there's some dragons up in the, in the wilderness that you could take care of, or we've got something weird going on in the sewers, or you could do this other thing to keep going with the glue. And we discovered that we did not have all of the achievements necessary to keep dealing with the gloom. And given that it's tradition to go into the sewers at some point during every campaign, right? Or at least during every RPG game I've ever played, you have to be in the sewers at least part of the time. We figured we'd go in the sewers. And also there was some peeking at the future and we might get to like go swimming <laughs> and breathe underwater if we complete this. So I was pretty excited about that. Um, I think that's like two missions down the road, but I was trying to figure out which one to pick. So I peeked, I cheated, admitting it. Yeah, but we're, we live in difficult times, Melissa. I think peeking is loud. <laughs> <laughs> well, and also we're um, very squishy in this game and not very good at it sometimes. So right. peeking is also loud. We're, we're, playing, we're, we're, we're playing easy mode so we can get through the campaign. Because yeah. both of us kind of like exploring storylines and stuff more than anything else. So, yeah, that's why we jumped into a rift in one of them and failed miserably. It was the shortest campaign ever. <laughs> the shortest scenario ever. I think that one we got done in 45 minutes because Mark was like, let's jump in the rift. And then we did. And then we immediately wiped. <laughs> it, was, it was bad. <laughs> um, Oh, and the third, the third NPC who's sort of notable is named Hale. She's like a, an enchantress of some sort, and we've been sort of getting her help in uh, tracking down some things. Um, she's been kind of annoying, though. <laughs> she keeps asking us to do ridiculous stuff. Mm hmm We don't well, want to. <laughs> yeah. She's also just kind of like not in the present moment usually it seems like she's too busy with her studies or whatever she's doing yeah. um, okay so what are we trying to do here so we are trying to uh we are in the abandoned sewers which seem like they're not very abandoned if we got sent to do stuff about them and uh we have to kill all the enemies that we find okay so but before we do that we have to do a couple of things happen before the scenario starts. One of them is uh, if there's anything we need to buy or anything like that. I don't remember if we did that. Um, I, I did that last. Remember, I got this awesome ring of skulls thing that I will summon a skeleton. Yeah, I'm not going to use my axe. I'm going to use my dagger. Okay. Um, I got it too. I I bought it as well. Oh, sweet. Um, so we have, yeah, two skeletons at once. Um, we need to do a city event and then a road event. And then pick these thingies. Right. Okay. So, city event. So we've been using this phone app, two phone apps to sort of do our thingies. Um, it makes it easier than dealing with all of the cards. Yeah. Although it's still impossible to read. <laughs> Is there a way to make that bigger so I can read it too? Maybe I can zoom in on it. I can mess with the... Uh, yeah, let me see if I can zoom in on it in OBS. Because I'm using the OBS virtual camera. Mm -hmm. Does this work? Ooh, yeah, that's nice. Okay. Nice. That's awesome because now I'll be able to see what's going on with the bad guys too. Yeah. Um, it's not letting me actually zoom in on just that OBS screen though. <laughs> oh wait, here we go. Okay. Is it in, though? Oh, or or we'll read it. I'll read it. Um, you are out in the war, ward of scales when you see a crowd of people forming to the south, growing louder and more dense by the second. 
As you approach, you see through the angry mob a, a terrified vermling being pulled in your direction by a group of gruff men. Have we done this one? I feel like we did this one. No, no, you know what? We did one where he runs away and yeah, yeah. trying to decide whether to shoot him. This is a it different starts, It starts the same way. Yeah. Or similarly. Dirty thief, a woman next to you screams, string it up. Glancing behind you to where the crowd appears to be headed, you see a dis disused gibbet or gibbet? Gibbet? I don't know. The, no. It's the, it's the, it's for hanging. Ah, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, the men, clearly not guards, move closer. We can either uh, attempt to stop the crowd from hanging the Bermling or take no action and see this through to its logical conclusion. I vote A. I don't. We need, we need due process here, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Even for Bermling. The good guys. The Bermling doesn't deserve death. Yeah, this is. Feeling maybe like bread or something or something. And we don't even know it stole anything. We just have the word of that random lady. Right. Yeah. I can't don't trust random ladies. She's a Karen. <laughs> okay, we're choosing option A. Yes. Uh. Uh oh. Are either of us either any of those things? No. Right. I am not. No. Okay. So the first paragraph doesn't apply. Uh, we kindly entreat the crowd to back down. And when, the, when that doesn't work, resort to force. No one seems happy that you stopped the hanging, but it was the right thing to do. We lose a reputation and this card gets destroyed. OK, we're back down to seven reputation. But we still have, uh oh, we still have two, minus two at the store. Okay. <laughs> According to my calculations. Okay. Now we do a road event. For anyone who's just joining us, I have been doing all of, I've been keeping track of everything on the party sheet and all of that on my iPad. I just took a picture and I can write all over it and things like that. Oh, you have to zoom in every time? Yeah. So. That's okay though, it's fine. Okay, that's just annoying. You wanna do the honors of reading this time? Sure. Okay, we're on the road. You see a lone wagon off to the side of the road up ahead. You approach cautiously. As you near, a jovial man with a wide hat waves at you. Oh there, I don't suppose you have any expertise in fixing a broken axle. <laughs> the road wasn't even that bumpy and then bam, the man claps his hands together, just splits in half. I need to have all these goods up north in two days, and I am just at a loss about how to get myself out of this pickle. So we went on a road outside of the city to go back into the city sewers? <laughs> um, I don't think that we had to do a road event if it was in. Oh, in town? Yeah, yeah. if it was linked. Well, we're doing it anyways. OK. <laughs> Do we a attempt to help him with his axle, or or tie him up and take all all he has? I it bothers me that there's never that like mind your own business option. There's never that. Okay, good luck at that. <laughs> exactly, or the like la la la. I don't hear anything. Like, <laughs> I how am I supposed to be neutral <laughs> if if my options are lawful good and chaotic evil? There's what if I'm chaotic good? Hmm? Maybe I, we've done so many good things, we have to do an evil thing to balance it out. Well, we did go Anakin on people, so I feel like we've done the most evil we're thing. Still, we're still trying to climb out of that hole. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> All right, so I guess we're helping him with his axle. Okay. Uh, neither of us. Oh, wait, is that. Oh, uh, no, that's me. All right. The man talks the whole way through the process, but after an hour or so, the axle is repaired and the man leaves in a radiant mood. We all get blessings. And we gain our reputation point back. Oh, yeah. And the card gets destroyed. 
So a blessing is one of the two times cards, right? Yes. We get to add, where are you? Nope. We get to add one of these jammers. So that means that we'll be able to do two times damage more regularly. I gotta put it in. It's good to have a tinker. Yeah. I may not be, I may be super squishy and not very good in a fight, but anytime we need to fix an axle. <laughs> the other reason we're squishy is because neither Mark nor I likes to play as a tank. We like to play as rogue e things, which means that you've we've basically got a rogue and a and a tinker trying to be great big heroes. Oh, that's nice. Fills the screen nice now, right? Mm -hmm. Um, it got reset somehow. Uh-oh. But we can set the scenario, which is 18, was it? Yep. And we can set our level. Um, let's see. I've got, oh, level of the party. Um, I'm level four and you're level four, so divided by two. Um, wait a second. Average level is four, divided by two is two, rounded up is still two. So to do easy, we set it to level three. Okay. Wait, nope, level one. Two minus one is not three. Four minus one is three, but it's okay. average level. It's average level, which is four, divided by two is two, minus one is one. Level one. Okay. That seems like it might be too easy. We've been playing at level one for a while now. But I don't know. I don't know what the monsters look like at level one. Okay. Well. It's there now. I mean, we're in there. Oh, no, I'm, I have more hit points than that. But oh, no, ignore all that. Okay. I'm just using it for turn order. Oh, okay. That makes sense. And you're doing all the hit points stuff and all that. Yep, I've got my hit points things ready to go. Okay. And we start uh, here. Yep. I was going to start all the way back in the corner because I'm squishy. There. Oh, that might be even better. I was thinking the other, the opposite corner, but. I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters either. Sure. Where are you? <laughs> it's Wait, it's start... when the rogue is tanking. <laughs> this, is, this is why we have trouble, because we keep making the rogue tank. <laughs> I think I should start right next to it, so I can just attack immediately without having to move. Oh, that's a good call. Yeah, then you don't have to use your um, a move, a move one. Right. Yeah. Um. All right. Gotta put the guys in. Oh yeah, and we have to read the flavoring text. Yeah. Oh, and we have to do these. We haven't done these yet. All right. So these are basically secret agendas that each of our characters is going to try to complete in order to gain perks. And the perks are good perks. Things like ignoring negative scenario effects and things like that. Although I think we both have that one already. Jeez. Okay. Don't look. Okay. I'm choosing this one. Can I look? Yeah. Okay. Can you show me which two I have to pick from? 
Mm-hmm. Can you see them? Uh, I can only see one of them. Okay. Oh man, it's like all the way at the back. Okay, close your eyes. I'm picking that one, which hopefully will not be backwards. Okay, you're good. For everybody else, it looked backwards to me. Oh, well, they could just practice reading backwards. <laughs> it's a good skill to have. It'll be fine. <laughs> Wait, so which is your right hand? Oh, you look you look correct to me. Okay. It has me mirrored so that it doesn't look weird to me. Oh like yeah. Oh screen. yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> so so yours is gonna be backwards and mine's gonna be frontwards in the recording, maybe. Yes. You're right. So they'll have to practice reading backwards regardless. For <laughs> bars, they'll have to practice reading backwards. Oh, wait, maybe not, because I think that the, the board is the one that is recording. So it, we might both be OK. You're right. Oh, you're right, totally. I can see the, the monitor of the actual recording computer. You want to see the setup? <laughs> Oh yeah, it's backwards on on your screen. The board is. Or it looks backwards. Right. <laughs> oh, that is right. That is correct. So the the what's getting recorded. Well, I guess I'm I <laughs> now I don't know. Like does Zoom record the flipped? thing or is the flip thing only for the benefit of the person who's supposedly sitting at that computer at the time? That's a good question that I don't know the answer to. We'll find out, I guess. So in the actual recording. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> How exciting our lives are. <laughs> hey, I'm a grad student. This is exciting stuff. <laughs> Unless you want me to talk about my research, which I don't think you do. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Um, I think it's interesting, but. All right, let me populate this. We have two elite um, snakes that are three and nine. Well, that's hilarious. My The ones that I put in the elite are also three and nine. Are the non-elite four and 10? One and ten. And then we have a elite slimer. Yes. Nine. Oh, it has eight hit points. You. Yeah. Okay. okay, and we choose two cards. I am ready. How easy are these guys? They only have a few hit points, but I'm guessing that they poison. Yeah, they poison. They're pretty fast, but they don't work at range. 
Well, the ooze does. Mm -hmm. Like I'm trying to determine if we can kill both of them in one turn or if, um, or if we're just going to be killing one of them. Um, like if we I wanted cannot, to, I cannot kill the elite on my own. I don't think in one turn. If like that. I can move and attack and attack. Like I, I have the ability to attack twice. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. And then these snakes are going to go through the water to come to us, right? Yeah, so they're going to use up like all of their movement just stepping in the water. Because it takes two movement to walk in water. Okay. If I move towards this guy, though, I might be in range of the Slimer. Oh, maybe not. Oh. Um, okay, let me just see what happens, I guess. Okay. All right, I've got um, 23. I have 18. I did not expect you to go after me. All right, the snakes also have 23, but I'm, uh, I'm going to perform them. So first you, then me, then the snakes, then the slime. Um, the snakes will move and attack and immobilize. And then the ooze will move and attack at range three. So I'm probably getting hit by him too. How far does he move to? Yeah, so he'll go like one, two, and I'll totally be in range. Yeah, okay. Then I'm sad that I'm going before all of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so since I'm first, weirdly, um, I'm going to attack this, the, the regular Viper okay. guy. For two and poison. Um, so plus zero. I attacked him for two and poisoned him. He's only got two hit points though, right? Yeah. Okay, so he's dead. That was fast. Number four. And then I'm going to move. Uh, oof, let me put that there. I'm trying to figure out like the best spot for everything with this new setup. Um, I'm going to move one, two, into this like weird alcove thing sort of behind you. Okay. So that I can attack for next. Okay, that's it, that's my turn. Okay. Um, I'm moving on to the loot, I guess, I might as well. And attacking for two, uh, plus zero. So that brings them down to number three. And then I'm attacking again. Okay. Plus one, four, he's dead. Dead. That's pretty good for a first turn. Yeah, it is. Well, now the snakes are going to attack me, probably. <laughs> um, they don't have range, do they? They don't have range. Yeah, so they won't They won't attack me. And actually, I'm not sure they can move, because they, they need move. to have one move, right? And they need two to walk on the water. Is there a minimum? It just says for difficult terrain, it takes a figure two normal movement points to enter a hex with difficult terrain. So, yeah, they can't move. They can't move. OK. Cool. Um, the ooze, though, 
Yeah, the ooze is going to come around the corner. He's going to just move one space because he only has to move to get within range, right? So he only right. has to move. Mm -hmm. Attack me for one at range three, and he gets a plus one, two points of damage. Okay. Okay. Next turn. Actually, I'm going to get a drink. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if I'm going to like this. We got a uh, banana flavored makali. You know what makali is? No. Uh, <laughs> Korean rice beer. Oh, okay. Um, I like normal makali. I don't know if I like banana. <laughs> I don't like banana anything, so I guarantee I would not like that. Delightfully weird. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> There's usually enough alcohol content that it really doesn't matter what it tastes like. I'm actually surprised that I haven't seen that here because um, the population here is, well, it's, it's actually kind of interesting because uh, the population on island is Korean, Japanese, and then everybody else, like those are the two, I guess Filipino as well. So there's a lot of uh, a, a lot of good food, good Asian food, like everywhere. What's weird to me is that there aren't very many Chinese food places, and there's actually not very many sushi places. You would think that there would also be, and I mean, I know I said like Korean and Japanese and Filipino, none of which are Chinese, but I expected there to be also Chinese, and there's not. Yeah. No, there's, I have to drive all the way down to Hilo to get Chinese food or sushi for that matter. I guess there's a sushi place in Waimea, but it's it's closed like all the time. What about poke places? Everywhere has poke. You can get poke at the grocery store. So that's, isn't it weird that there's poke and not sushi? Poke is very Hawaiian, so it's a, it's very much a Hawaiian thing. So I don't know. I love poke too, but sometimes you just want like a spicy tuna roll. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. What about teriyaki places? Spicy poke too. There's there's all different flavors of poke, which when you are used to getting poke from not a Hawaiian place, you, you don't realize how many different flavors there are, but there's tons of different varieties of poke. All made with tuna for the most part, but then like depending on what they put, what sauce they like marinated in, it tastes different. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Are there teriyaki places? A few teriyaki places. There's a lot of um, there's a lot of kalbi places. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but um, lots of Korean barbecue places, some Hawaiian barbecue places. But it's always surprising to me. So we can get sake, like in Pennsylvania, we can get sake. Sake was like really weird. Anything fermented rice was very weird there. But here, I can get sake anywhere. But I don't. We don't see a lot of like we get the like. Sing Tao and things like that, you know, like the ones that everywhere has, not actual. Yeah. Mm. So I'll, I, I need to keep looking though, because there's some, some places have really good selection of everything and other places do not. So. What about grocery stores? Are there like Korean and Japanese grocery stores? I haven't found them. I'm sure there is something somewhere, but it might not be on my island. Um, yeah. We're not very cosmopolitan here. It's very rural here. Um, but there's up in town, there's two grocery stores, one which caters to tourists, which is like 
you can't even get like your basic stuff there for the most part, except for rice. You can buy giant bags of rice, but um, it's not, it's definitely like they have a whole like gifts for your family section rather than like some of the things that I would normally want to buy. Mm -hmm. But then across the road is one that has, um, it's more like a regular grocery store. There's not like a whole section for tourists and they have lots of good everything. I can get something called sea asparagus, which I had never heard of before, but it's like, it's like seaweed, but it's, um, it's kind of thick and it's super salty. And so I wouldn't just eat it if, if, you know, but it's really good with like ramen. If you like chop it up and throw it in with ramen, it's nice and salty and crunchy. Um, wow. called sea asparagus. Who knew? Yeah, I never heard of it. Yeah. And I can get bonito flakes and everything there. Like the, the um, amount of Asian foods I can get there is way higher than at the like tourist grocery store. It's also a lot cheaper than going to the tourist grocery store because we do like to upcharge our tourists here. Required for the economy. <laughs> <laughs> we have no tourists right now, so the economy's not going well here. <laughs> right. My favorite sushi place just closed actually this week. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, it was like an hour drive away, so we never got up there. They were doing takeout, and we managed to get the takeout once. Is there, I already have cards, by the way. Hmm? Is there Vietnamese? There is... Actually, there's more Thai than Vietnamese. I haven't seen a lot of Vietnamese. I see a lot of Thai food. Weirdly, we hardly ever get Thai food, and that's very strange because I love Thai food. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, Filipino. Um... Not a lot of Filipino restaurants either, which is also super weird because I love Filipino food too. Yeah. You well, would, all, that's the all weird all part. Is that like, the there, there's, I, I don't know. There's a huge Filipino population here. No idea. Okay. I also live in the middle of nowhere on my island. So um, Robin is texting you. Oh, it disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I turned notifications off. Yeah. I don't know. We we sold the house in Oregon. Yay! Um, supposedly this week. We did the final signings yesterday. Nice. Um I don't want that loom. But I know that like shipping it here will be ridiculous. So I'm not even going to offer to buy it from you. But it was amazing loom. My yeah. mom wanted it, but it's not good. Hmm? In in the like 20 years ago, it cost like twenty five hundred dollars. It's so, it's a really know. nice loom. I am not a huge weaver, but I can tell that it's a really nice loom. My mom would love to have it, but then you'd have to get it to Pennsylvania. She's got one that she got off eBay and it's like all busted up and not in good yeah, shape. I accidentally broke it. Well, then I don't want it anymore. <laughs> well, part, I broke one of the wood things. Oh, one of the, with the, with the head, heddles and. No, no, just one of the, one of the feet. Oh, well then that's not that bad. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't affect the loom part of it. It just. That's and it isn't that bad actually, it's cracked. It just needs to be wood glued. And maybe you know, sanded or something. Yeah, um, my the one that my mom got, they had broken the frames for the heddles. I think they're called the heddles, the little things you thread the thread through the metal ones. And they built new ones, but they the new ones that they built were fatter than the old ones, so they just like whacked into each other and didn't actually move. Whoops. Um. So. 
back to the game. <laughs> um, You're gonna have to edit this. Well, after the oozes, because I don't want to deal with the going through the water to get to the snakes, right? Well, I have a lot of like attack at range stuff, so. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go after the ooze, and you can try to deal with the snakes. Sure. Hold on, did I pick something that would let me deal with the snakes? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do the same thing I did last turn. I'm gonna move and attack and then attack again. Oh no, I can't attack again. Boo. I changed my mind about how I'm gonna do this. Yeah. Oh, I can do this. Okay. I've got 16 this time. Oh, wait, I, I don't do that. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to have to go make a snack at this rate. <laughs> right, I've got four. Okay. I have 46. <laughs> okay. Next round. Four, six, oops, four, six. Okay, predictably I'm going first. Snakes have 43, um, then you, then the ooze. The ooze, will, the ooze is gonna suffer two damage, but it's gonna suffer another ooze. Oh, I hate that idea. So we need to get it down to two. To the summoning ooze. So if I kill it, it won't be able to summon. Or if even if you get it down to two, because if it takes two damage. Right, right, right. Then it won't. It'll just die. So I have to do six points of damage to it. Yes. That's not gonna happen. But we'll. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, maybe I can help if it comes to it, and then we'll just ignore the snakes for now. Okay. Well, first I'm, I'm moving okay. you know, with the, the snakes jumped. are jumping. How are they jumping? I think they're jumping into the water. <laughs> okay. Because they're only moving one space, even with the jump, but it means they can go over that difficult terrain. And they're just going to land in, in the difficult terrain. I guess so. <laughs> what does jump do again? Yeah, they get to. OK, they get to ignore terrain effects. So yeah, they just jump into the water. Weirdos. Also, what kind of snake jumps? I know there's snakes that like glide out of trees, but I've worked with snakes and they don't jump. They're there must be some. There are, well, these snakes jump. <laughs> but in real life, here. it's mostly a not very controlled falling kind of a thing. They don't jump. But these do. Right. They're called jumping vipers. <laughs> That's... Jumping's their thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I'm moving two spaces and picking up loot as I move. So I'm grabbing this thing. Oh my gosh, no wonder you're rich and I'm poor all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm attacking it. For three, uh, and that's it. So we'll see if I draw something good. Maybe I should do something like do advantage or something. Maybe, although we do still have two more rooms after this one. OK. Plus zero, three points. Um, the snakes jump <laughs> into, the, into water. the water. 
<laughs> but they can't attack because they're not in range. Okay, so they're just in the water. Yeah. Okay, I'm moving three. One, two, three. To right behind you. And then I am attacking him for three. Plus one and immobilized, so four points off and he's immobilized. Yeah, and then he explodes. And then he explodes. Yay! Okay. And you will undoubtedly loot that token. I should just put it straight into your loot. <laughs> <laughs> I probably won't get it now because it's only one space away. I don't want to waste the movement. Just... <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a looter when it's um when it's uh convenient <laughs> which is often because of my abilities but <laughs> as opposed to my abilities which are all like tiptoe around and then shoot a bow no picking up um okay we have to kill those guys somehow This will do. Okay, I've got three. I have 19. The snakes have 11. What? Cheesy peats. So I'm going to get whacked here. I might kill them. Uh, I'm doing an attack two on both of them at range. I don't remember if I, I draw twice, right? One for each of them? One for okay. each. So this, the elite first, plus zero. So two points on the elite. And then the other guy, I missed. Okay. <laughs> sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sad. <laughs> well, at least the other guy doesn't do an attack. Oh, wait, they don't move. Oh, but they have shield. Oh, yeah, so then only one damage on the elite, because they have Unless a shield. Unless they don't activate the shield until it's their turn. I don't... Oh, yeah, I bet that's true, because it's not an innate shield. Yeah, but yeah, they're yeah. gonna be shielded on your on. What well, by the time you hit them, they're gonna be shielded. Yeah. Okay. Sad. Um, and then my other movement. Uh, I was gonna move. Can I leave them to you? <laughs> I mean, you can. <laughs> One, two, three. I have two more movements, so let's see what these guys do. There's another snake. A snake here. Ooh, we've got a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, we do. Why do you have to go and open the door, Mark? Because uh, I'm trying to keep this. Let's keep it going. <laughs> Get the momentum. You know Badger, 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 right? 
Yeah. I'm seeing it today. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about it well I don't know what brought it up but we were talking about it the other day that that's how we'll be able to tell people who are our age versus people who are not our age because if we say badger 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 they respond with mushroom mushroom or snake, snake, snake. <laughs> back in the olden days of the internet when everything was weird <laughs> yeah do you know the magical Trevor song I don't think I know the Magical Trevor song. Oh, that one's great, too. You should look out. <laughs> I do know about Salad Fingers, though. Salad Fingers? I don't know that one. Oh, Salad Fingers is, like, the creepiest thing in the world, if you want to be creeped out. I get yelled at every time I bring up Salad Fingers. And also, um, Zombocom. I don't get yelled at for Zombocom, but Zombocom. I don't know that one, either. You don't know Zombocom? Jeez. Did I get everything? Two snakes, two slimes, and two uh, Ewoks? <laughs> I think they're vermlings, but yes. We just saved vermlings. They, yeah, should, they be should be happy. attacking us. They should be happy that we are their friends. I'm trying to make everything be good. Uh. I need to stop leaning on my stuff, though. Okay. Is it the snake's turn? Well, I have two more movements. Oh, right. Um, oh, and then all of the other things you just discovered are going to go, too. Yeah. <laughs> That's that is true. But <laughs> the snakes aren't moving. Yeah, but you're acting like a tank here, sir. <laughs> Wait, I have two more movements. Yeah. Were you gonna grab that loot? Um, I don't think I was gonna get it on this turn, to be honest. Well then, okay, one, two. <laughs> I told you I should just put it into your loot. I should just be like, there's a loot for you. Um, okay, the snakes move, they don't do anything. They don't move. They all shield up. Yeah. So now it's your turn. Okay. So I'm going to attack and stun. Uh, I guess the elite. Uh, oh, point. Ooh, plus one. So I actually hit him for one. Oh. So he's dead. Dead. And now there's loot in the water. And then I'm going to move one closer to you, I guess. Sure. OK. Wasn't the most exciting turn ever, but. OK, then the, the two vermlings move four mm -hmm. and they jump. And they loot. Sneakies. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then the two oozes each move one. Boink, boink, like that. And I'm not within range. Okay. Next round. Mm -hmm. And I have to reshuffle these guys. This will be okay because um, there's going to be a bottleneck at the door uh, and the river, I guess, or the sewer. Well, I'm not sure that they can go through that wall there. I'm I'm just not sure if that's like a pathway or. Oh. Can they just walk through the sewer the whole way through the water? The pathway. I think they can go through it. It's just it just you know is harder. Okay. But there's going to be a bottleneck here. And so 
even though there's six guys here, we're probably going to only be fighting them one or two at a time, you know? That's true. This is a good time for AOE. Um, once they get closer, I will AOE them, but they have to get closer. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll do that. I don't know what to do. Yeah, my I'm doing something weird. Okay, I've got ninety-three. Oh, geez, I have thirty-seven. <laughs> hmm, this is gonna go great. <laughs> okay, the two vermlings first. They're gonna move two and attack at range three. Okay, well, so they just jump in the water then, right? They jump in the water, yeah. And they don't attack yet. Then the snakes move. The elite first moves to add plus two attack if the target is adjacent to any of the giant viper's allies. Well, anyways, move to can't attack because it's not within the range. The other snakes move. So this guy moves, I guess, here and attacks you. Yeah, because I've got lower. Yeah. Only attacks for one. Mm hmm So he rolls a plus zero, so one point. Okay. The other guys move two, or this one guy, I guess, moves two. Okay. It doesn't do anything, and then it's your turn. Okay. I am... Going to, oh, that just doesn't make any sense anymore. All right. I'm going to hit him for two. Plus zero, so he did. Right? Yeah. Oh, you have to get rid of the one viper that I killed before. Huh? In the, the vipers. We haven't hit this one guy yet, the one elite. Oh. That's a different elite. All right, this guy is dead. This elite is number three. Wait, was it elite? Yeah, it is elite. So that's not right. There. That's how it should be, right? Uh, yes, except for I just killed one of them. Killed number 10. And then I'm going to get this loot that's right next to me. Looted. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my turn. Oh, no, we're about to get a bunch of oozes. Yeah, we are. But hopefully, so they have four hit points. So hopefully they get this card again, and then all four of them are just going to explode. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, do the new ones get, they only get two hit points each? Uh-huh. Summons normal ooze with a hit point value equal to the summoning ooze's current. Okay. And then where do they go? Can we I, put them in the water? One of them's going to go here, and one of them's going to go here, I guess. Okay. Oh, we're not there yet. I'll stop. I'm getting ahead. Yeah, I'm going to fight stuff. You have a shield? No. Did I shield you? I didn't shield you. Sorry. I moved instead. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, screw you. I wasn't money. sure where that sentence was going. It sounded like you, were, you have a shit. You have a <laughs> <laughs> No, you have a sh you would have had a shield. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, we are in the sewers, so maybe you have the other thing as well. <laughs> um. <laughs> there should be a special. There should be a special move <laughs> when you're in the sewers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm a child. <laughs> Come on, it's everywhere. We should be able to pick some up and toss it. <laughs> Gross. I think it would affect us more than them, though. They're living in here. <laughs> it might poison you. <laughs> I'm not used to it. Can I move an attack or pull him forward and attack? I'm going to pull him forward. And then attack the three. Um, three plus one, four points. Woo! He okay. did. Did. These guys are pretty easy. Yeah. Um. I'm. I'm nervous that there's another shoe that's gonna drop, or maybe we've just gotten strong enough that we don't need to play on easy mode anymore. Yeah. Maybe. Um. Anyways. Both these guys suffer two points of damage. And then summon oozes. That could get out of hand quickly. One. If oozes instead of regular oozes. Mm hmm. Okay, this is going to sound ridiculous, but I think I'm going to do a long rest. Because they're not all up in our face yet, and I have a bunch of AoE spells that I don't have access to right now. Should I do it too? Because I only have one card. Yeah, so you should also do a long rest. You either have to do a short rest, or you have to do a long rest on the next turn. I guess I'll do a long rest as well. Um... Which means we get to choose which card and we get our hit points back. Oh yeah, how many hit points do we get? Two. Wait, which one did I not use? I didn't use this one. No, I'll get rid of that guy. So now we wait while they all do stuff. Oh, you know what? We didn't actually read. I'll read while you're dealing with those things. Okay. From the center of the silent bridge, a city guard points you to a grating underneath the west side. That's the best way into that hellhole. Good luck. It takes a bit of climbing, but you eventually make your way down to the grate, which has been twisted and broken over the many years. You light a torch and step inside, following a narrow path up a slight incline, avoiding the stream of brown liquid running in the opposite direction. After a few minutes, the path opens up into a series of branching pathways. You start to look around, deciding on which way to go, when hissing sounds echo through the stonework towards you. You hold fast to your weapon, straining to see multiple slithering shapes approach. Slithering. So basically, we're in the Slytherin common room. I'm a Slytherin. <laughs> I remember. I'm the opposite. What's the opposite? Gryffindor? Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff? Hufflepuff. I was surprised. I was expecting Ravenclaw, but turns out not as smart as I think. <laughs> More interested in food than books. Mm. It doesn't make sense, though. I'm equally interested in food and books. They don't have a, like, Hufflepuff. <laughs> okay, uh, so what are all these guys doing? 
The snakes are all moving three and attacking. This is attack for zero. Well, they attack, yeah, and but they get to uh, draw a card still. Oh, yeah, and does that say that they poison? Uh-huh. Yeah. So there's only one snake left. He's going to go one, two, and basically uh, poison me. <laughs> yeah. Draw a negative one, so you won't do any damage, but I get poisoned. But shouldn't he, like, give you some points back since he did negative one damage? He gives you a poisoned healing potion. Yes. No, doesn't work that way. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Vermley Scouts move three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then don't attack because I'm not in range. And then the oozes, I'll just sit there. The oozes don't move. They attack with range two, which not in range. Yeah, they just don't do anything. It was a good time to do a long rest. This was a good time to do a long rest. Except you got poisoned, but. Yeah. Wait, does that count as, a, as being healed up by the long rest? Because it's a heal. And technically, we went last. Yeah, you're right. So it's a heal, but that means I don't I don't heal the two hit points then. I oh, just it's not poisoned. It's not poisoned. That's not that's not that terrible though. Okay. This is where I had I wish I had like a lightning bolt spell. You know? Yeah, like a line. <laughs> what are the hit points on the viper is two and the vermlings are what? Two and four. And which one's in front? The number two, or the two hit point one, the regular guy. The regular guy, OK. We can just hope that the slime is just all self-destruct right now. That's sort of what I'm hoping for, frankly. OK, I'm going to do that. And that I think. Okay, I think I'm doing some crazy. I've got three. Okay, I have seventeen. Okay, me, then you, then the viper, then the wormlings, and the slimes. The oozes uh -huh. are looting. The wormlings are looting. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Viper's attacking, but they'll probably die. Okay. Uh, okay. First, I'm attacking the viper for three okay. points. Plus one. He's totally dead. Super dead. Now there's two gold sitting there. Not for long. <laughs> <laughs> um, XP for that. And then I am attacking uh, both of them at range. So I'll do this guy first. It's for two plus one, three points. He's dead. And then this guy plus zero, two points on the elite. And that's it. OK.
All right. <laughs> I'm doing something super crazy. So I'm going to go one, two, and I'm taking this loot. <laughs> ah, finally getting to loot something. <laughs> and I'm healing you for one. Okay. And then okay. I'm attacking the Vermling for two and poisoning him. And I got two times, so I attacked him for four. So he's probably super dead. But now I'm in front, so that's exciting. Yep. And the oozes each move two. One, two, one, two, one, two. This guy just moves one, I guess. Um, and then uh, this guy attacks you because you're in range. Yeah, sad. So one plus zero, one point of damage. Okay, that's fine. I'm slightly yeah. less squishy now that I'm level four. Next round. How many hit points do they have? Two? Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to decide whether to use my area of effect spells now or wait until the last room. Can we peek? I guess. There's going to be five guys in the last, six guys in the last room. Okay. I should probably wait then. Because they're one and done. I can't like pull them back out. Right. They're, they're straight to the just to the lost file. So I will save them. Hmm. And we're hoping that they're all going to do that split thing and die. Yeah. I could do something crazy. Go for it. <laughs> One of my friends uh, from school plays this, and he... Uh, he plays as a berserker type. I don't know what it, I think it's called the brute maybe. And he said that he gets, he regularly gets like six or seven movement points with like hitting everybody on the way by. So he just like runs in and whacks everybody and then picks up the loot and the rest of his team doesn't do much of anything apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, that's the opposite of what we do. We're like creeping around in the dark. <laughs> yeah. Backstabbing people. <laughs> <laughs> I've got four. I have 20. It's got, ooh, they're all dying. Okay. That's not terrible. No, it isn't at all. Uh, that might change what I want to do here. Jeez. <laughs> um, okay. Man, now I wish that I had a lower number than 94. Because <laughs> then I could just like walk along and pick up some loot. <laughs> right. Um, okay. I'm going to move five and use my winged shoes. Okay. So I'm going one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm moving three. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> okay. All right. So yeah, I'm super boring. Um, I'm going to use my boots of striding to get plus two movement. So I'm going to move six. Uh, except I can't really move six, I can only move five. So one, 
two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. And then I am gonna hit the guy next to me for no good reason because I can. So okay. I'm gonna hit him for two plus zero. Um, the guy in front, I guess. So he did. Actually, I should have done that in the other order, shouldn't I? Why? So that I could actually. No, never mind. I still wouldn't have ended up standing on the loot. I was thinking I could have looted him. Right. But I had to get up next to him to hit him, so never mind. Mm -mm. And that's my turn. And they all they all die. This is a whole bunch of loot that's just gonna sit there. Yep. We left one in the first room. We're going to leave six in the second room. <laughs> yep. <laughs> ah, love it. Well, I can move back and get some of it, maybe. I, I'm going to get some of it, I've decided. OK. I'm going to. I have 37. I think I'm going to go into the room. OK. How are your cards doing? I've got, well, four in my hand. I mean, four for, to choose from and a bunch here and one discarded. One, one go out of the game or whatever. Lost. Right. Okay. Let me know when it's really bad because I can help. I still have my helping cards with your card issues. Yeah, I'm trying to decide if I should turn invisible. I think I should just move in first okay. and then potentially turn invisible. So I've got uh, 11. Okay, I have 37. No, wait, I've got 93. <laughs> okay. Ah, cat monster, would you come here? That was not helpful. How much you have? 37? 37. 37. Not that it really matters. Less than 93. Okay, you go first. Okay, I'm gonna go one, two, wait, nope, can't do that. Having new thoughts. I'm just gonna go one and collect the double loop. Okay. And then I'm gonna attack the air. Wait, did we decide that I could heal myself as long as I'm within my own range? Okay, then I'm healing myself for that one whole point that I have off. Done. It's boring. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna hang out back here and loot all this while you go and finish up the scenario. I moved three there and then I have two movements left. But we read, uh, navigating through the passageways, you find yourself in a large open room with a cistern in the center. Around the cistern stand a group of vermlings who look up and snarl in your direction. This must be the cause of the poisoned water. Oh, that's over here, poisoned water. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stop poisoning people. Man, we totally shouldn't have helped that Vermling. <laughs> I wasn't thinking. I didn't remember. Well, I don't think we knew it was the Vermlings that were helping. No, we that didn't. But now we know. Now we know. We saved one of your friends. Yeah, why are you being bad? We saved one of your guys. Would you stop? Speaking of Vermlings. <laughs> Three of them, right? 
Uh, three vermlings and three slimes, yes. Now I need to, I guess, attempt to catch up with you in this next little bit. Nine, six. Oh wait, one's elite. Uh, one elite slime and one elite vermling, I think. Yeah. You're gonna fall. What are you doing? You're such a big help. A treasure chest. Okay, I think I got everything. Position the board. Oh yeah, you can't see where I am on the. Oh well. Maybe if I get rid of this last room, because I don't think we're gonna go back in there. We're not going back to get all that loot, are we? I don't know, probably not, but I mean, the, my camera sees my board, okay. You know, but it's also just useful. Uh-oh, that cat. No, we don't need your help, son. Maybe if I, no, that's worse. All right, whatever, good enough. This is the hardest part of the game, is like making it so you can see what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. We don't need your help with the slimes. Just stay here. Okay. So now all these, the, the vermlings go now, I guess. Yeah. There, that's good. Cool. Um, I think this is right. Move two. So, so I move three. I, do I finish? I finish my turn, right? Yeah, you finish your turn, and then and then the vermlings go. So I have two more movement points. Um, I won't be able to get in range of any of them. So. They're going to shoot. So I'm going to back up, I think. Okay. One, two. Or actually, no. I'm going to stand there and turn invisible. Gotcha. Invisible. I turn invisible with my cloak. OK. Can you make a decision here? Oh, that's your decision? Sure. <laughs> that is also not helpful. He's now lying on everything. <sighs> That's okay. We like cats. So now it's the vermlings' turn. Yeah, now the vermlings move. They each move two. Okay. This guy goes into the water, I guess. <laughs> This guy moves two that way, this guy moves two that way. But they don't attack because they don't see me. Yep. And now it's your turn. 
And wait. No, I already went. Where now now it's times, and they all they all lose two damage, and they all spawn some. Wait. So does the elite guy spawn another elite? Uh. Someone's normal ooze. Normal. The hit point value equal to the summoning ooze's current hit points, limited by a normal ooze's specified maximum hit point. Okay, so two, uh, two twos and a four. Right, two twos and a four. By turning notifications off, clearly didn't work. <laughs> oh well. Okay, number three. That's four hit points. Uh, what, like right here? In the middle of the room? Yeah. And then one, six. Uh, two points. Like right, like that, I guess. Yeah, that's kind of what I did. Okay. If we just wait, wait long enough, they're all just going to self implode. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. Although, uh, eventually, they're going to start coming this way, and if we want that chest. We need to get to it before the end of the turn that they all explode on. Right. And I use my winged boots. Did you use the winged boots before or after the long rest? After. Oh. The oh, previous well. turn, I did that crazy thing, you know. Yeah. Might be time to summon a skeleton. Yeah, I was thinking about summoning a skeleton myself. Okay, next round. I only have two cards left. Ooh, okay. Well, um, in order for me to help with that, I need you to be within three, it looks like. Oh, <laughs> Like, if you come flying back towards me, I can help, but... I can only move two spaces with my cards here. Yeah, I can get within range three. Oh, wait, I can move four spaces. One, one, two, three, four. I can move four spaces. Okay. Um... I've got 12. Hold on, I'm figuring out what I have now. Wait, do we want to do this? I mean, I could just do short rest. Like, should I attack them or should I back up? Um, if you attack them and then do a short rest, that gives me more time to get up close to you and I can get my, my better card that will let you get all your discards back. Mm. But then if you've done a short rest, you've got your discards back. I have one that will let you get one lost card back, and I have one that will let you get all your discards back. Um, so if I move, then they're going to move. We don't know what their ability is yet. Um, but hopefully they move like I don't know, two or three spaces or something, and then they'll be all bunched up, and you can, like, AoE them. Yeah, that's that's my hope. And then holding on to all my AoE stuff. Okay, well, then I have 12. All right, I have 48. Oops. Okay. One, one, two, there we go. And you have what? 48.
Okay, me first, then you, then the oozes are moving, and then the vermlings. Ooh, the vermlings are not moving. Oh. The oozes aren't moving either. Nobody's moving. They're looting, though. But the oozes are healing themselves. No! They're all going to be on maximum hit points. <laughs> um, Great. Since the vermlings are not moving, I feel like I should just stay where I am. I mean, you're not going to be invisible anymore. I could. One of my cards turns me invisible. <laughs> like I could just be <laughs> invisible again. And then the short rest will happen and I'll grab the other card that lets me attack for double damage at while invisible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll stay where I am. Okay. Um, I don't want to move within range because they're attacking for four, three and four. Mm -hmm. Although maybe I'll kill one. I might be able to kill one. I because they have only have um. The little guys only have two hit points. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna move and attack him. Oh, no, I can't do that. Can I do that? I don't need to be invisible because they can't, they're not moving. So they won't be able to attack me anyways. Okay, so I'm going to attack um, and draw a zero, but two points of damage, so this guy's dead. And then with this thing, um, I'm not going to do anything, I don't think. Oh, I can move. I can move two spaces. One, two, in here, grab the loot. Okay, now it's your turn. Okay, I'm gonna move four. One, two, three, four. And then I'm gonna attack the air. Because that's all I have to do. Oh wait, but I'm going to, wait, I'm not close enough yet to summon a skeleton. But I'm going to recover two of my discarded cards using my stamina potion. Have you used your stamina potion yet? Not yet. Should I do it now? Um, maybe. What does it do? Um, you get to pick two it's cards out of your card. discard pile. Yeah. Well, yeah, I will use it. Then I'm gonna have to take a short rest. Yeah, and I can try to get closer. Hmm. Okay, I've got um, 16. Okay, I have um, 37. We got 92 and 94. Ooh, the oozes are dividing out again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
awesome. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're out of room though. They they can't. They're gonna. They're not, out of tokens. There's only four more of these guys. Well, that and they the like these ones in the middle can't. Like this guy can't spawn another one because there's no place to spawn. There has to be an empty spot. Yeah, they're about to run out of room. Um, all right, me first. Yeah, what do we do if we run out of ooze tokens? I think it's just their maximum. It's limited by the number of tokens. Okay. I, d I don't know, actually, for sure. We should probably check that. <laughs> Let me see. Where's the summon thing? Oh, here we go. It doesn't say. Okay. Um, in summons, so I don't know. I'm moving here to attack this guy. Okay. No, wait, I'm moving between them. Okay. And I'm using my goggles to get advantage on this guy. Okay. Attacking for three, either plus two or plus zero, so three plus two is five. He's gone. And then attacking for three on this guy, plus zero. He's gone too. That was easy. Okay. Uh, all dead. And now it's your turn. Okay. I'm moving one, two, three, four to the other side of the door. And I'm healing you for three or however many you need to be healed. Okay. And that's my turn. I'm going to need to do a rest, though, I think, at the end of this turn. I'm doing a short rest. Yeah. But first, the oozes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, they all suffer two damage. I just, I just added two. <laughs> oh no, so can they spawn on that loot chest? Because remember, when they healed themselves, they also get the loot. That's true. But don't we get to decide which, who spawns? So yeah. the elite would spawn first, but it can't because there's no room. Right. So then there's going to be four of them spawning. Mm -hmm. Even though there should be five. Right. I think it is just limited by the number of tokens we have. Okay. We'll declare it that. So then four twos, because the elite can't spawn one. Right. Four, five, seven, and eight. <laughs> so many of them. And I'm going to arbitrarily put them not in the loot chest. <laughs> I can now, once I get in there, I can area of effect like crazy pants. Yeah. I think you should do that. I think so, too. Okay, That's but I have a short rest, so. Yeah. I'm deciding what to do. That's fine. Yeah.
A short rest doesn't uh, refresh your items, right? Right. Oh, I don't get to decide. It's a random card. That, yeah, that. it's random. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, that's how I was like, eh, all right. <laughs> It's one of the ones that, like, my next level will get rid of, probably. So, we can hope that they explode. Yeah, I'm ready to do area of effect, so I was going to go in and start area of effecting. I can start making my way towards the chest. I think that's probably a good plan. Because every time I pick up a chest, I get poisoned, so... I just hope that every once in a while it's something that that's good for me too. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can attack two of them, I guess. Okay. And then just move. Oh, I can pull, I can pull them. I can pull some to me and then attack them. Maybe, I don't know. Okay. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. I'm just going to do... Ugh, I don't know what to do. Can you AOE them this turn? Not all of them, obviously, but... A bunch of them. A bunch of them, yeah. Okay, I'll just do this and see what happens, I guess. Um, I've got uh, 12. I have 19. They've got 94. Ooh, they're gonna... Ooh, they're, a whole bunch of them are gonna die. All of them are gonna die except for the elite. Okay, so I guess I should see if I can get to where I can shoot the elite. Yeah, that's really interesting. I'm not sure if I can get to where I can shoot the elite. We'll give it a shot. I don't have my boots of striding anymore, so that... <laughs> yeah, this is really interesting. I don't know what to do here. <laughs> uh, Just go open the chest. <laughs> I can go here with my cards. Oh, I can do this. I can move. I can move there. Okay. And then, um, ooh, is the elite going to be within range of you? I don't think so. I don't think I can get to the elite this term. With the pull ability, can that pull people through their allies? I think so, yeah. Mm, hold on. I feel like there's a rule about that. Oh no way! It doesn't matter because I used the I used the bottom half of the other card to move. Oh. Can't do that ability anyways. Well, I might as well do this. I turn invisible. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> the target can be pulled through its allies, but not its enemies. So for future reference. But I'm invisible, it's your turn. What did I just do with the cards that I was planning to play?
<laughs> okay, I am moving forward. All right, so one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to summon a skeleton. Wait, you should move me over to the, I moved oh. close to the chest yeah. there. Okay. So wait, you could have gone here onto the loop. I don't know if you wanted to do that. No, that, you know what, that does make more sense. Okay, onto the loop. And I'm still gonna do a skeleton just in cases. Okay. Um, so where's my thingy? In right the up. water or in, on the dry land? On the dry land for now. And then I'm going to, one, two, Ooh, I can actually hit it, hit the elite. One, two, three. Yeah, okay. Phew. All right, so I'm hitting these three. Um, so the elite, the one in between me and the elite, and the one uh, towards me. Yeah, that one. For three and immobilize. So I targeted three of them, so that's three experience points. All right, so I guess starting with you have goggles, use your goggles. Oh yeah. Oh wait, wait. We don't don't kill the elite. Because <laughs> if you do, uh, we won't be able to loot the chest. Because all of them are gonna die this turn. Um. Okay, then I won't do advantage. Okay. Because right now, I can I can do three damage to him. Wait, you can do advantage and choose the 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 worse or one, <laughs> right? I guess. Let's look at what it says. Do I have to pick the good one? Where's okay, page eleven. Where's about advantage? Okay. I have to use whichever one is better. Does it say better or does it say higher? This is better. Well, better in this case is leaving him alive. How about I just not target him and I'll just target the these three guys. So the two I was already gonna target and then this guy over here. But they're all gonna die anyways. That's true. Just do it. We'll see what happens. <laughs> okay. All right. So starting with the guy in front of the elite, three damage plus one. Oh, and I healed myself for two that I don't actually have to heal myself. But so this guy's dead. I'm running out of money tokens. Yeah. Okay. And then th the other non-elite guy plus one. He's also dead. Okay, and don't then, give me plus one or plus two on this guy. <laughs> the well, it needs to. It needs to be. It can be a plus one, but it can't be a plus two. For the elite. Are you doing? You're doing how much damage? Three. So it can't even be a plus four. one. It has to be. It has to be zero. <laughs> no. I guess what I just did. <laughs> Two times. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I totally didn't mean it. I was attacking this guy. <laughs> That's like super cheating, though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you did say you wanted to do that. You yeah. get experience points out of it. You get three points, right? Yeah. But if I attack this guy instead of the elite, that's still three experience points. Yeah, that's what I mean. So it, it does still make sense to attack normal guys, even though they're all dying. Because yeah. you still get XP for it. Yeah, because they get XP. So yeah, totally. This guy's dead too. Definitely didn't touch the elite at all. Definitely. That's good to me, because I, I was the one to talk you out of it. 
<laughs> and now I have to shuffle these cards because I got a 2x that wasn't a bless. Right. And now all the normal guys die. Yep. Leaving a whole bunch of loot everywhere. All the loot. Maybe I'll just loot things on this last one. Do I have it right? Yeah, although where did this guy? Oh. Yeah. Although now the elite spawns a guy. Where does he spawn? Oh, yeah, the elite spawns a guy. He's elite. down to four, and then this guy is also a four. <laughs> Let me zero out all these guys here. Man, the slimes are. What a roller coaster. <laughs> um, <laughs> what here? Okay. My goodness. Okay. So that was my turn and their turn. Yeah. Next round. <laughs> <laughs> fun. We have fun. <laughs> I can definitely loot now. <laughs> can I kill them this time? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sheesh. Sure, just in cases. Wait, no, not just in cases. Oh, wait, never mind. Yeah, that'll work. Oh yeah, someone one card. <laughs> um, okay, I've got 11. I have 18. It's got 66. It's gonna move zero, loot one, heal two. They're healing themselves. And looting stuff. I'm just sucking things up. <laughs> Um, I'm moving onto the chest. And then I am attacking the only guy I can, this guy. For four, I miss. Oh, no. Come on, dude. It's your turn. Here, here I am, save the day again. Okay, I am going to... Oh, your skeleton. Oh, my skeleton moves. Wait, he moves too. Okay, and... I should summon a skeleton. I'll mm -hmm. actually summon a skeleton. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> there. Does my skeleton get to hit them now that he's next to them? Yeah, I think okay. so. So he attacks this guy for two, and he goes off my deck times two, so he kills him for yep. out of money. Um, okay, and then... All right, I move to one, two, get this loot. And then I do an ink bomb, which is an attack of four. I get some XP. And I'm just targeting that guy. Minus one. So I attack him for three. And then he's going to heal himself. Yeah. Bad face. Stupid. Okay. So he doesn't move. He loots one. Loot one means uh, within one space, right? 
So he loots all this stuff? I don't know if loot one means that. Page 27. It's within range X. Yeah, so he loots all the things adjacent to him. And then he heals two points. Ugh. And then I open this chest. Yeah, you looted the chest. Uh, 63. Random item design. Yeah, that's from that special deck. This deck? Yeah, I think so. Random? Jeez. Oh, these are random. Okay. That's it. Yeah, like shuffle and. I don't get the item. This item just becomes available in our store, right? Yes. Okay. Wand of Brilliance. During your turn, create light. Okay. I guess that would be useful for people who need light to cast spells or something. Oh, is it like one of the one of the it's a light token? Yeah. Got it. Okay. Cool. Let me get that out and put it in our deck. Maybe one of our other characters eventually will need it. Yeah, true. Right now, I don't need like anything. Yeah, I think I my character is pretty good too. Well, we don't know what all the other magic items are. That's true. OK. So new turn, right? Yeah. I think. If you can kill him, I can go and disarm that trap just for XP. I should be able to kill him. How many does he have? Three? Yeah. Well, and also he's going to get hit by both of our skeletons. That's true. So I'm going to disarm that trap because it gives me two XP to disarm a trap. OK. Okay, I've got four. I have 47. Me first, then it. It's going to move to attack range one. Doesn't need to move, just attack. Um, but uh, my skeleton goes first, right? Yeah. Oh, wait, I totally forgot you have a skeleton. I should have had a thingy out. So I have to shuffle this. There. Now I know where it is. OK, it attacks for two plus zero. It attacks for two, so. OK. Hit point. Then I'm moving um, here. One, two, three, on top of this loop. Okay. 
and then disarming this trap. Bye bye, trap. Okay, it's turn. Yeah. Um, it doesn't need to move. It's going to attack my skeleton, right? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Range one? Yeah. Range three, attack one. Range three, attack one. Okay, yeah, it's going to attack your skeleton. Is it at a disadvantage because it's doing a ranged attack? Oh, yeah, then it's going to attack my skeleton. Okay. Anyways, it draws a negative one. <laughs> okay. So zero damage. Zero damage. All right, my turn, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so my skeleton moves up one. Finish it off. And attacks for two. Plus one for three, dead. Deaded. And I'm going to move up one and get this last loot. And then I can't have two summons at once, otherwise I'd summon a battle bot. <laughs> just for fun. So instead I'm just going to like flamethrower. Yeah, I, get rid of the poison water or whatever. Because I get two experience. Can we, I count that as two experience since I put, no, there was nothing to actually, I can't do that. <laughs> Sad. Okay, so yeah, there you go. All right, that is our triumphant return to Gloomhaven. Yay! <laughs> we won! <laughs> I think we need to dial it back up to normal difficulty. Yeah, I think so. I think we finally reached a point where we can, like, where we are somewhat successful. Although I'm not sure that this was, like, a super hard one. When I was looking at some of the other ones, they are, like, Hale wants us to keep her alive for 10 rounds. Which I feel like 10 rounds is usually the extent of our ability to actually continue to play. So mm -hmm. we start to run out of cards around that 10 rounds thing. Okay, so let's see. All of the end of end of session stuff. Yeah. How much is each of these worth, the loot? Two. Okay. And we get six XP as well. So six plus the four, so I get 10. 10 whole XP, woohoo! And then I got, oh, do we get gold? Hold on, we didn't read the end. We got it, isn't there a oh, yeah. end? Yes, and we get a whole bunch of new locations too. But it does not look like we get gold. Do we get? I don't think we get gold for finishing. Anyway, the vermlings lie dead, their dark blood mixing with the pools of water on the floor. Investigating further, you find no poisons of any kind on the corpses. Is it possible this verm these vermin were not the cause and instead were just living here away from the eyes of the guard? Oh no, we did it again, Mark. <laughs> At the back of the room, large cracks are present in the wall, displaying a passage deeper into the depths, which unlocks the deep ruins. And if you had some way to breathe underwater, either from one place or another, you may even be able to enter the cistern and find the source that way, which unlocks the ancient cistern. Right, but we don't have any of that. Well, we don't. We we have the ability now, though, to go get the water breathing, so we could go check out the cistern. Mm. That's what I was shooting for was finding that we did do Frozen Hollow back in the day, but we didn't get. Hold on. We didn't get. Um, we didn't get water breathing, so I guess it wasn't there. We have to go to the other place. Okay. No, we can choose to go to the Drake Nest to get water breathing. Mm -hmm. Or we can go into the Deep Ruins. Yeah, or we can go into the Deep Ruins. Yeah. Wait, can we actually go to the Drake Nest? Or do we have to unlock that? That just unlocked. 
13 plus nine. I'm not sure it actually unlocked. I think it's just telling us where we could have gotten it. No, it says new locations. That's how they unlock. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Oh, did you do your thing? I did do my thing. Yeah, I got a check mark. I did my thing too. Loot a treasure overlay. I a, had to have five or more total cards in my hand and discard pile, and I still had like a bunch. So nice. A check mark. So we could either go to the Drake Nest or we could go through the large cracks in the wall. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Well, I'm nervous about the Drake Nest. The water breathing would be super cool. I don't know, I'm peeking again. What was the 14? So the Drake Nest, we would have to kill eight Drakes. And the other bit, so there's also the Ritual Chamber. Wait, can we do the outer ritual chamber? I feel like we don't have the right. No, we can't do that one yet. We don't have the right party thing. Water breathing does sound pretty cool. It might be useful for later too. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, that there might be some other ones that we could do with water breathing. By the way, erasable pen on all of these glossy pages is only sort of useful. It works and then it wipes off. But then I can see like the smudgy leftovers. Oh, I get to do stickers too. Get a shoot of stickers. There we go. Okay, so we unlocked 14, which we had already unlocked. We unlocked 23. It's super exciting to watch my empty chair, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm leaving the meeting with my with the phone app screen. Awesome. And then the ancient cistern, which is also in the middle of the sinking market. Yeah, I feel like we should go get water breathing, but I don't know if it will be useful for anything else because I haven't cheated and read everything, but it seems exciting to me. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like we keep getting distracted by all of the other things we could be doing. be successful though more often yeah 
At first, we were very unsuccessful at things. Yep, I'm just gonna leave everything. <laughs> <laughs> I have to clean up so it can become a Lego space again. Are we still recording? Yeah, I'll stop it right now. Okay, thanks everybody for joining us. Thank Especially you. <laughs>